Meanwhile, detectives are investigating the cause of the fire that burned down a dormitory at Isiolo Girls High School. The fire that burned down a dormitory housing for more students is reported to have started at 8 p.m. on Saturday night while the learners were in school. Local firefighters, however, managed to put out the fire without salvaging much of the belongings of the students. Parents have come to at the school demanding a comprehensive statement from the, from the administration following the fire. No casualties were reported. The whole dormitory is down. Everything what was inside is down. It's about 10 now. Still was as work or India, young gate. They are panicking. They are worried. They want to know where they are today. And girls are. For if you are sassy, wakuja wa andresu esa easy. Wa confirm you. They are panicking. Wa me chok. Gino wa me travel all night. So far, no one is talking to them. So they need to talk to them. They need to confirm. They need to assure them the students are safe. wale wa kondani, they don't even know if they are safe. Hata watoto wenyewa, they are panicked. So wako in a panic mood. They need reassurance. We need hata watu hospitalis. Saizi wawe, psychologists, wanaongea na wawe, wame panic. Wewe ojana uleona moto imeua watoto nyeri. Ni mtoto gani hata stuka? Ni msazi gani hata stuka? Kwa hivyo watu wame stuka. 